Yeah, yeah, you mentioned you know, the chairman of the league and you've always had this like rapid rise, you know, like you, yeah. not many often you have a couple of years, someone into the sport and then going into the chairman role. Um, I just want to ask why, why do you want to be in this role? Do you love the sport that much that, you know, you want to pursue it in like a, a lead role? Um, yes, I know, to be honest, um, it's partly due to the, there didn't seem to be anyone else willing to do it. And I also thought that, because I've been on league committees before, running football leagues, um, I ran a club that had three teams before. So to run a league that has four or five teams isn't a massive stretch for me, like, logistically mm. wise. Um, I've always been quite good with logistics and just organising stuff. So that in my head, it, it was one of those, okay, I don't mind doing that. Um, as I said, there didn't seem to be a lot of people who wanted to do the role. And for me, even if there was a kind of drop off for a couple of months where someone wasn't looking after the league, that could have been to the detriment of the league. And I wanted to make sure that that wasn't happening as well. Um, it was something that I've enjoyed a lot. I know for, for the 2019 season, I brought down about four people and they brought down about another four people. So it was also something that I'm going, okay, well, I'm promoting this to people. I've got to actively step into that role if it needs to be. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my, my thought process behind it. Um, sometimes, you just need to step up to the plate, um, literally and metaphorically.